This is a video on how to align the finder scope on your telescope. Um, the, the reason for having a finder scope is it provides a modest amount of magnifying power but a wide field of view, whereas the main telescope provides a much higher amount of magnifying magnification but a very narrow field of view. So the finder scope is used to help locate a, an object so that it can then be viewed with, with the main telescope. In order to check the alignment of the finder scope, the first thing you'll need to do is to pick a reference point in the distance and it'll need to be um, preferably a land-based object like a building or a, or a tree or a lamp post and it'll need to be around about 400 yards away and you want to line that up on the main telescope. So simply look through the viewfinder, uh, find a land-based object in the distance and then using the, the RA and declination controls pick a, a very accurate reference point and center it exactly in the middle of the viewfinder. What, what I've been doing here is um, I'm about 14 miles away from the city centre. Uh, my camera doesn't give a very good view out the window so I've just redrawn the view on, on a paper but essentially what I've got is I've got three tall skyscrapers and some shorter buildings to the left and a river to the left of that again and I've been using the tip of the antenna on the centre skyscraper as a reference point. So you simply line that up in the um, telescope's viewfinder and, and have that centred. With the right angle prism attached to the eyepiece, the view of the city buildings that we're going to get are going to be different. They'll be the right way up, but they'll be reverse left and right. And um, the, the view through the through the telescope's eyepiece here is much tighter than the wide angle view. And what we are after is getting the tip of the antenna centered exactly in, in the middle of the, the picture. So once the image has been centered in the eyepiece of the telescope, this will be what you'll see with the tip of the antenna, our reference point, exactly in the center of the image. So then when you come to look through the finder scope, this is what it will look like. Um, once again, now if you find that the reference point is exactly in the centre of the crosshairs on the finder scope, then uh, you can stop now. You don't need to uh, realign your finder scope. Everything's good. The adjustment procedure is once you have the eyepiece of the telescope centred on the reference object, in our case it's the antenna on the, on the centre skyscraper, lock the telescope in position using the, uh, the, the drive clutch so that it can't move and use the uh, right ascension lock as well. And then using those three mounting screws simply shift the position of the finder scope so that the crosshairs in the finder scope line up exactly with the reference point, in this case the antenna on the skyscraper. Um, after you've made each adjustment on the finder scope it's important to come back to the main telescope check the view in the viewfinder and make sure that it hasn't moved. If it has, just release the, the clutch on the drive and um, adjust, make any adjustments you need to the uh, right ascension and declination knobs and just keep the image central and then um, um, have another go. And each time you'll get the finder scope closer and closer, um, the, the, the crosshairs to, to being lined up. And with, with these small adjustment screws, very small adjustments are needed and it's best to use to sort of loosen one an eighth of a turn and tighten the other two an eighth of a turn. The, um, the little finder scope is held in position by those three screws and it need, they need to be a snug fit but not too tight. If, if, if they get done up too tight it can damage the, the little tube. So it's just a matter of um, take your time and uh, you know, you'll figure out which way that the finder scope is off and simply loosen one an eighth of a turn and tighten the other two an eighth of a turn and little by little the, the error will be progressively removed and the finder scope will line up precisely with the image in the eyepiece of the main telescope. But on every cycle when you make an adjustment on the finder scope because you're using a screwdriver and you may knock the, the whole telescope just double check your reference point in the eyepiece and in, in, a, in this case it's the antenna on the center skyscraper so just make sure every time you make an adjustment on the finder scope 
you come back to the eyepiece on the main telescope and make sure your reference point is, is central.